Okay, screenshot, we've got 77%. Done. Uh, what do we need? Travel, Google Maps. We'll also have brightness up full. Search, home. 36 minutes start. Head south on Nelson Street towards Carrington Street, then turn right onto Carrington Street. This route avoids congestion on A2. You are on the best route. You will arrive at 1756. Head north on Nelson Street, then make a U turn. So we've got full brightness and also full volume. GPS. 77%. So what we're trying to do today. Right onto Carrington Street, then turn right onto Street. What we're trying to do today is see if full brightness, full not full volume and GPS still charges the phone on the quad lock wireless charging head. So I hope we'll ever see a consistent amount of battery or an increase in battery. Let's see what happens. It'd be great if we get battery charge while we're using the full GPS shenanigans on the way home. It's about an 18 kilometre journey, 35 minutes. Telling me to turn right. We'll do as it's telling me. Quickest route. So yeah, I am doing this test because it's been asked in relation to does it charge on full GPS the iPhone with the quad lock wireless charging head? Are we actually going to get a charge as well as? using it we will find out now however I would like to point out I'm doing this as an experiment I actually don't or I very rarely use a GPS on my motorbike quite simply because I'd have planned my route and I'd I don't often find myself touring when I need it. If I was touring and I was out looking for a situation where I'm, I'm just on an adventure and I needed a map, fair enough. But for general commuting, everyday use, I ain't using it. I'm wanting to be concentrating on the road around me. So I'm not an exponent of it. I can't ride my motorbike to the standard that I like to by watching a screen so I'm deliberately trying to ignore this screen I've got it very bright which makes it a bit more difficult but I don't want any distractions I don't want anything taking my eye off what's going on ahead of me and I'm already finding it quite difficult to to do so so that's the proof of the pudding really and, I, and I'm somebody who's got what I'd say is a good concentration level in relation to what's happening around me when I'm on my motorbike and, I, and I'm already feeling distracted by this thing anyhow isn't that a nice feature to have on your motorbike and you can fold your mirrors in like that? Okay, so we're home. Let's see. We'll press finished. And we will kick it off. Right way up would be good. Let's shut the app. 
sure it all laps. That, ladies and gents, for quad lock is a good result.